Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear students, I hope that you are all doing well. Uh, this is lecture 8. Uh, it starts with chapter 12. It talks about weak forms. That is on page 89. Okay. Uh, some words in English, actually almost 40 words, 40 English words, can have two ways of pronunciation. One is weak and another one which is strong. These words are called function words function words they are 40 words almost they have weak pronunciation and strong pronunciation so what is a function word what is a function word a function word is a word that does not have a dictionary meaning however their function their function in the sentence is more important than their meaning. So from the term used, a function word has a job in the sentence. It has a function which is more important than its meaning, its dictionary meaning. Okay? They include words such as auxiliary verbs, prepositions, conjunctions, articles, demonstrative, etc. While the other type of words is called content words. And again, from the term used, content, uh, it means that their meaning is more important than their function. They have a dictionary meaning, and they include nouns, verbs, adjectives, and most adverbs. So, this is the basic distinction between function words and content words. Function words, they don't have a dictionary meaning, but they have a function. While content words, they have a dictionary meaning. These include verbs, prepositions, articles, etc. And these are nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. So, now we come to a very important question here. Is it a must to speak with strong and weak forms of function words? As foreign learners, as you are learning English as a foreign language, my students, are you obliged to know how to speak in weak and strong forms? Let's look for an answer. Actually, it is not a must. So you are not obliged to speak in weak and strong forms, but it is helpful to know about them. It's helpful to know that there are words which can be pronounced in strong and weak forms. Why? We have two reasons. First, native speakers would find speakers with strong forms always unnatural and foreign sounding. So if you are always speaking with a strong form, which is the usual way with with foreign learners like you, the native speaker will find your pronunciation weird a little bit, unnatural and foreign sounding. You are going to be identified as a foreign learner directly. The second reason is speakers who are not aware of weak strong pronunciation may not understand a speaker who uses weak forms. So it's good to know about weak forms so that when anybody speaks with weak forms, you will not be confused. You will know that there are words which can be pronounced in weak forms. Let's take examples. Look at the words here. This is their strong pronunciation and this is their weak pronunciation. For example, the auxiliary verb was, which can be pronounced in a strong form as was with o, and in a weak form with a schwa as was. That, okay, I've missed the, the sound there. I should look for it and, and put it here. Anyway, that 
with the a and with a schwa that that which is weaker could with u can be pronounced as kid kid of with o can be pronounced as of of so these are the strong forms of these verbs this is an auxiliary this is a demonstrative this is a modal auxiliary and this is a preposition okay <coughs> sorry we can see from the examples above that these words have two forms of pronunciation one is strong and another one that is weak now did you notice anything related to the difference between the pronunciation of weak and strong forms in the table above? Is there anything that is um, or can be identified or uh, pinpointed here in this table? You need to have a look and think. Think and write your answer and post it in the Google Classroom. Is there anything interesting in this table which you can figure out and put in a rule maybe? Okay. Now, <clears throat> function words are normally strong when they are produced in isolation. So when I say the word, for example, that, I can pronounce it in a strong form if it is alone. That. However, these function words are pronounced in a weak form whenever they come in connected speech. In connected speech. But even in connected speech, there are cases where strong forms can keep their strong, uh, sorry, function words can keep their strong forms. Again, <coughs> okay. Again, uh, function words are normally strong whenever they are pronounced alone in isolation. Okay? However, and as you know, in connected speech, these function words are pronounced in a weak form. Okay? However, even in connected speech, some function words in certain cases can keep their strong forms it means they still they are still pronounced in strong forms so we are going to talk about these cases in the next lecture okay for the time being have a look at this table think about anything interesting here and don't forget if I pronounce the word was in isolation it's going to be a strong was but if i pronounce it in connected speech normally it's going to be pronounced was it was raining it was raining not it was raining okay thank you very much next time we're going to talk about the cases where function words are pronounced strong even if they are in connected speech thank you very much